popping. The Philadelphia way we're gonna drop it. I know the music they play on the bandstands. We're gonna swing it, we're gonna swing in the crowd, and we'll be clinging. And floating high as a cloud, the phones are ringing. My mom and dad are so proud, I'm on bandstand. We've got a gentleman here that works with the Les Elgar Orchestra. And less than Larry Elgar's big million seller was Bandstand Boogie, which brought on Dick Clark's American Bandstand. Anyway, I want to know how in the world the Elgar's and landed the, that job of make of playing Dick Clark's. But theme. this is the band's leader. We're talking. This, to he's here. currently, but less than Larry recorded it. He owns the band right now. But the way they got in that uh, that song, Les and Larry wrote that song with Charlie Albertine, who was. Uh, uh, Les was humming this song, and Larry and Charlie Albertine got this on paper, wrote it down, and take in mind, the band did not record anything at that time. They were just starting to get ready in 1952, and uh, they, they, well, excuse me, 1951, and when that happened, they put together a band, and like I said, Larry was kind of a shy guy, didn't want to be a... Uh, front man. So Les Elgar, his brother, uh, took acting lessons. He was he was a gr good trumpet player, and uh, but he he was a good spokesperson for the band. And they got recorded uh, and under Les Elgar Orchestra. And uh, they first introduced this song with a uh, Pennsylvania area in Pittsburgh. Uh, it was uh, what was the show that Dick Clark. Had it was well, four band scene. Yeah, it, not not his show, but it was another guy that had it. It was a theme song that used to play in a local te television show before Dick Clark's show, and they had this running. Well, Dick Clark heard the song and he loved it so well that he wanted to adapt it to his television show. And uh, Les Selgard and all them they met, and they, I actually I'll, I'll bring it next time we're here. I have the contract that Les. Dick Clark and Larry Elgart and Charlie Albert son for him for them to use the song for on his show for many years on American Bandstand and uh, I'll just say that Les and Larry came out all right with the royalties on having wow. that sh wow. song played on there. Yeah. You've so, got the original contract. I, I'll show it to you. How did they get the Columbia record contract? Okay, so. Columbia Records got rid of Harry James, Duke Ellington, and Benny Goodman, and several other guys. They thought it was their music was wouldn't appeal to a younger crowd during the 1950s. Now, people like Ray Anthony, Ralph Flanagan, and other band leaders during that time were not as big as the Elgarts. And why they marketed the college people, they went around all the colleges, played all the proms, and they got big. Now their album, take in mind, they did not play any of the colleges yet, but they needed to come up with a name. So Les said, well, how about we call it America's favorite prom, college prom band? And they came out and it, uh, they did all the tunes in that style. Columbia loved it, they introduced it, and the kids were buying up the records and people wanting to book the band for their college prom because they actually thought this is the band to have for their college. But they Thanks. released Bandstand Boogie Columbia as a single. Yeah, as a single, yeah. And, and so well over a minute. Oh, and very Bought well. Too, yeah, but uh, they did that as a single, and then they did that album, you know, with uh, that one I was telling you about, America's Prom Day, Prom Band, you know, but, uh, and they were with 1952 to 1967 with Columbia. And they recorded several, many big selling albums with Columbia. How many times do you think American Bandstand brought, uh, or that song brought American Bandstand on the air? Have any idea? 15,000? Oh, at least. Yeah, yeah at least. And uh, Well, everybody knows that song. Oh, yeah. And I, and I actually put on YouTube, you can find it on our YouTube channel. Uh, I just released the original footage of when Les and Larry were on Jackie Gleason show in Miami. Uh, he loved the he loved the Dorseys, and now when the Dorseys died, he took the Elgarts under his wing, loved them. One time, both of these guys had an orchestra, and then they decided to get together. And what they came up with is a credit to the music business. Here they are, Larry and Les Elgar.
And then also the original footage of Johnny Carson having him in New York. In case you're not uh, familiar, who's who? This is Larry and this is Les Elgart. Guys, this is the latest one, huh? That's the latest right. one. Sound of the Times. That's a picture of Les. This is Les when he, uh, <laughs> high school graduated. <laughs> he went to the Fanny Hill Country Dale Progressive School. 